so guys welcome back to the channel touching down from not Chiang Mai I guess you've gathered we're not in Chiang Mai anymore we are on I guess this is series three or series four I thought I'd get out of Dodge for a few days and yeah I'm about an hour and a half outside of Chiang Mai now and I've stopped off at this famous um, hot springs and yeah, I've seen it on vlogs, man. Now I'm here, so I'm not gonna get too close. This lady's just been playing around with it. Don't know what she's putting in there. Yeah, so I'm about an hour, an hour and a bit outside of Chiang Mai, guys. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm going, but I'm sure a lot of you've got a clue where we're off to. We're gonna go to a few places on this series, actually. Well, hopefully. So I left about 6 a.m. this morning. And it's, it's coming up to 8 a.m. now, so it's took me a little bit longer. I might get a drink here as well because I ain't had no green tea this morning or no brekkie. Look at it, man. Loads of shops here, loads of stores, look. Selling all sorts. Look at the size of this place. Massive man. Swadi cap. It's a buddy my. It's all shops up here, look. Not gonna walk up there. Might get a green tea down here. Yeah, I had to put the top on again. I thought oh, I won't need I won't need the hoodie. It's 35 degrees in Chiang Mai. As soon as I got out on the mountains again, I had to stop. I thought I'll bring the long sleeve t-shirt just in case but I won't bring the hoodie and yeah I needed this straight away it's got all your, all your stuff down here look just seen a place here 50 baht does she do the green tea? I don't know mm. got some good prices here look 50 baht but happy days. Ah, I want to see what this lady's doing. Yeah, she's boiling eggs. That's what she does. I've seen this on a vlog. She put a bag full of eggs in there, look. I don't know what that is. Looks like nuts. Look like monkey nuts. I'm trying to know how long it takes to boil them eggs. So she had about six or seven eggs in a bag. She's probably putting her eggs in for the brekkie. Look at that dog. It's a beautiful dog, isn't it? He's been in an accident or a a beautiful dog. How long the egg take to boil? Five minutes. Five minutes. Small three minutes. Small three minutes. Okay. I like my egg three minute. I like a three minute egg. That's like still runny. I don't want a five minute egg. I want a three minute egg. Let's just go and see this lady up here. See what they're selling here, they selling that. Yep, need the elephant pants up here. Yeah, got some good stuff. Got the knockoff Adidas, knockoff North Face. Guys, the trick is if you're going anywhere from Chiang Mai, get out before rush hour or after. I know before I said it's best to go after rush hour, but now go before it gets light, man. 5 a.m., 6 a.m. The road has been beautiful, nobody about at all. I left just before 6 a.m. and it has been a breeze. So wherever I go now, I think I'm gonna leave super duper early. See, so across the road, there's another one as well. There's another two, look. Another two over there. Got a lottery ladies out. Yeah, not gonna look at them over there. Just gonna get a green tea. I've actually gone for a latte today, guys. I 
I've gone back to the old school so I need waking up. So I'm gonna, gonna treat myself to a coffee like I did back in the day, eh? So yeah, it's a lovely little place here. Yeah, beautiful. You can tell she's into antiques, look. And yeah, I'm gonna sit out here at the hot springs. Hello. And yeah, I'm still half asleep at the minute, but it's just nice to get out of get out of the city again. So we are on the 118 that goes to Chiang Rai. <laughs> so are we going to Chiang Rai? Who knows? Um, yeah, so I'm about, I've still got a fair way to go. And yeah, the first stop is not Chiang Rai. Um, yeah, <laughs> all good, man. I'll drink them both. I think the ladies took out her eggs. She's probably munching on them. So I had a nice bacon and cheese croissant and a latte and a green tea, all for 100 baht. So it's a good little stop. It's a, it's a tourist trap. Loads of people stop here on the way to Chiang Rai. But we're not going to Chiang Rai just yet, or maybe we're not in the future. Who knows, but we have got about another one hour on the road, guys. I thought it was closer than this, where I'm going. Got the noise, got the generator going. But I've got another hour on the road yet until I get to my first destination where I'm staying. So have you got any ideas where I'm going first? So I'm going to get back on Lucille and get this hour done check into my hotel and yeah we'll take it from there guys so i will see you in a bit checking out from the hot springs man we on the road baby ah peace and quiet peace and quiet not a dicky bird as my late grandma would say not a dicky bird so guys you have any idea where we are where are we <laughs> Where are we now, today? Because I feel like I am in the middle of nowhere. We are in Payao, 140 kilometers outside of Chiang Mai and about two and a half hours. It took me probably four hours because I've stopped on the way, took it a bit easy and it's been the perfect day to do this. It's cloud and overcast. But Payao is it's weird man, I'm going to have to find where the actual main part of Payao is. It looks like it's over there, but Google Maps has took me to this sweaty cab. Um, the side where nothing's happening guys, I've got the chesty on. I'm going to show you some footage coming down here. It has been absolutely dead on the roads. There is nobody around in Northern Thailand man. Outside of Chiang Mai, I've had nearly the whole road to Payao to myself over three hours and yeah it just looks looks dead man so I'm hoping more is happening over the town side so we're in Payao for a couple of days I've booked two nights here before we probably move on to somewhere else but hopefully there is two days worth of stuff to go and have a look we're gonna have a look at a night market and hopefully around the town part so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go and find my hotel and check in and hopefully find out where where some civilization is. <laughs> where, where the town is, where I can see something and it's got to be over there I would have thought. But it's, yeah, it's been breathtaking. Coming here, breathtaking. There's me new mobile, look. Here's me new, me new beast. <laughs> My new, um, what are they called again? I forget. Um, like a, I forget what they're called, man. But yeah, that's my new ride, man. Oh, mobility scooter, isn't it? It's a mobility scooter, right? It's like a souped up one. So I'm going to leave it here. We're going to pick up when I sort of find out where we're going and where I can see some action and see something happening. So I'm gonna go and get to the hotel and I will catch you guys in a bit. We in Payao, man, we in Payao. Right, so I've made it to my first 
place where I'm staying the first night in Payal and yeah it is in the middle of nowhere down down a dirt track old like dusty retro houses and this is it guys and I cannot find I cannot find anybody here so this is where I'm staying for the first night and I did read in the reviews that it's hard to get out of anybody I'm meant to be staying in one of these and I can only see one and one down there available so I'm taking it this is mine oh hello 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 so I'm gonna have to try and find somebody so we've got a got an old coffee shop there or something yes yeah, so I'm not really well I don't mind it it looks a good place but I can't oh there's dogs everywhere man dogs everywhere so I should be staying in one of these so what I'm gonna do guys is try and get hold of someone I've got a pack of dogs roaming up here and see if I can get in my room if not I want me money back man <laughs> so I just got hold of the owner and she said 12 o'clock it's about 11 now so what I'm gonna do is head off into town get some grub show you a bit around there and we'll probably do this review in a separate vlog guys we'll go down get some grub take a look at the Payao town for an hour but this is where I'm staying for the first night right so we've got about an hour to kill and I put in town centre in the map food court that's always a winner so we're gonna go down to the town centre for an hour there yeah, and I'll just show you the road it's about three kilometres from anything that's anything like <laughs> remotely with people around so we're gonna have a little trip into town god knows how I'm gonna split these vlogs up but we'll have a little look around now it's just like a dirt track for about two kilometers don't get me wrong it looks a really peaceful town I'm loving it actually loving it being out and as I said it is dead the road here nobody around I thought Pi was like a quiet place this is this puts Pi to shame this is just totally feels like remote look Hey! Ow! Let's go and get some grub, man. So I'm only at this place for one night. Tomorrow night, I'm right down on the lake because Payao is just surrounded by a big lake, which we're going to have a look at in a bit, hopefully. So the place I'm at tomorrow, I wanted it for both nights, but it, it was only available for one night. So I picked this place for the first night. Yeah, look how quiet it is. I mean, it gets a bit more busy when you get down to the main road here. We're coming back here late at night man you get lost good job from google map eh? hang on Whew, yeah it's been a crazy day i've been on the road for about four hours man stop for a few coffees um yeah it's been overcast all day so it's been perfect right so i got a Turn off up here. Go this way. It's quite far, isn't it? If you was walking it, it wouldn't be no good. This place wouldn't be no good if you was walking this hotel. It's 
more like three kilometers to the main road. Hello! Right, so this is should be down near the main road in a minute. I'm gonna put the camera away then. It's not like you could walk it, but it'd be quite quite a full-on walk. This is the main road bit here. So yeah, I'm putting the camera away now guys. Welcome to Payal. We made it. So we're down the front and the lady said this is yeah, this is the part of town where all the food is and all the restaurants are. And I've gone past quite a few already. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little walk down Payal. And it's a weird place. I mean, it's breathtaking, look. I wish it was a bit more sunny because you would see it better. But yeah, it's, it's basically all on one side of this lake. The other side, look, it just looks like mountain and jungle. So I'm sure I was. I think I was over there, or I was over one of the corners. So what we're going to do is walk on down, see if we can get some food. And the lady said the main part is down here, but I'm not so sure. I'm just going to find somewhere I can eat. Swaddy cap. And it all looks pretty dead here as well, guys. But yeah, really nice, really nice restaurants. And what a setting, eh? to set in I'm just going to walk down I have to remember where I parked Lucille so I parked there right near that walkout ah oh, something smells good yeah that one there smells good we in Payao what the hell are we doing in Payao man <laughs> what are we doing here so it took me ages to get here it really did even though the road was was just quiet and it was just basically me on it but this is a town that is just quiet. Not a lot to it at all. I don't know if it comes alive at night. Sweaty cab. Um, but I love it. I love towns like this. I really do. I mean, you would need something going on. I'd say a lot of businesses have gone out of gone out of business as well. Hey, that ain't the main town down here, is it? We'll walk down a bit. Got there, restaurant. Hey, this place looks all right. Nice little setting with a the pond there, look. And just look how beautiful it is though, guys. Just think if the sun was out. It's a beautiful little town. Lovely and quiet. Ah, they don't really do much food here. They just do the waffle. So we're going to carry on walking down. It's just another day in paradise. Hey, we on another series, man. We on a series. What about that um, <laughs> hotel that I'm in? I got to go back there in a bit. Hopefully the room's going to be okay, man. Um, I, I was going to do this tour in the next vlog, but seems we've got to wait for the room. We'll do it now. These are beautiful places, but all empty. I'd say during the night near the water, my mate was saying who lives here, uh, Michael, that I'm going to be meeting up with hopefully tonight or tomorrow. Um, I think he was saying like it gets people come out for meals and that in the evening, they have live music. And tonight, it's not getting knocked over here. Tonight, I'm going to find the night market and we're going to have a look around there. That was about that for the soul though. Ah, oh, just what I needed. I'm liking the look of Payao already. My sort of town, man, my sort of town. Not a lot happening. Perfect. Quiet. Small little soys. I've seen a big C extra, I've seen a macro. You could come down here, look, chill, near the lake. So I got my trusty 
trusty Wikipedia on the Payao Lake. So Payao Lake began about 70 million years ago. This area was surrounded by low mountains before. There are 18 creeks mixing together here. In 1935, the Department of Fisheries had set up Payao Inland Fisheries Station on the Ing River and made the dam, which caused a large swamp with a depth of 1.5 meters. Nong Lang was one of the most prominent ponds, the land of the northern and southern ends of the area during the summer is dry so it is possible to walk through the area get out of here really before 1941 Payao Lake was a vast area of low land it was humid in the rainy season around July to November the Ing River flowed through the area creating many large ponds called Nong the smaller ones called Buak. The floodwaters made the waterways connected with each other, creating two lakes, one called Quan Noi, which means small lake, located in the west. The other one called Quang Luang, located in the east, near the right part of the Ing River. So I think we're in the main one, right? This is the main, the first one. Ah, yeah, so, there's a little write-up guys, I'm not going to bore you with Wikipedia because you can just have a look if you want to, right? So we're going to go down and get some food. So I really thought about this series and I thought about the Mei Hong Song loop and I don't want to do it. Maybe I will one day but everybody does that way and I just thought I want to do something a little bit different. And Payao is always somewhere. I just wanted to go, I don't know why. And I'm glad I've come and had a look. So instead of going, I've already been to Changdao and Pai. So, you know, I would probably have to go through Pai again if I was gonna do the Mei Hong Song loop. Well, I would. But this time I thought, why don't I go the other way? Go to Payao, then maybe go up around the other way. So, so that's what we're doing. Hey, this is beautiful. It's a nice breeze here as well. Lovely breeze. During the, during the evening, it would be really nice. So I've come down a bit further. I've seen some restaurants down here. I've got a 7-Eleven. That's always good to know. I'll get some water in there in a bit. But yeah, you're going to have to find somewhere to eat, man. It's, it's, this place is not what I expected. Definitely not. It's got that seaside vibe without the beach, if you get what I'm saying. It's just got that. It even smells like it too. It smells like it. Hello, what's this place? I don't like the look of that place, do you? Let's carry on walking down a bit. It's got that fishing vibe seaside vibe going on maybe have a look at this place here maybe this place this place looks okay people going in there as well so that's always a good sign isn't it it's why the caps are body mine maybe in here maybe you do cow man guy no do do okay Let's eat in here. Hey, what are we thinking? Happy days. <laughs> so I should have ordered chicken and rice, hopefully. I did hear her say um, pad thai to the cook. But, um, yeah, I did say cow mangai and I've got an egg as well. Um, 60 baht and with the water, I think it come to about 70 baht. So not too bad, not too bad at all. And look at this setting, man. I was about that for a second. Got the lake there, got the mountains. There is a weekend night market, which sadly I'm gonna miss because I'll be gone before Friday night. Um, but there is another market in a different location, which we're gonna find tonight, hopefully. There you go, look, 60 baht. 
a little bit different from how they do it in Chiang Mai, but it looks really good. Got the egg, fried rice, got some egg in there, a bit of chicken, lovely jubbly rod is 60 baht. So I'm gonna eat this, and then we will rendezvous after. Lovely, 70 baht with the water, so happy days. Hello! <laughs> Friendly, quiet, look! Look at Payal! Look, he can walk in the middle of the road. Look, this is right down on the front. You can walk in the road. I'm liking this place, man. So I have picked the absolute perfect day to come, guys. It's been like this all day. Overcast, what is it? Probably about 32, 32C. Look down here, look at these coffee shops. Right down on the bay, look. That'd be a cool place, wouldn't it? Get a coffee. Right, guys, so now we're going back to the hotel, which is about three kilometers away. And I'm gonna check it out, see what it's like, and then I'm gonna film the next vlog. So we're gonna leave it here. I've made it to Payao. This lady is eating, I don't know what. Oh, ice cream, ice cream. Oh, do I? Mm. Mm, durian. Durian and uh, coconut. Durian ice cream? Yeah. Durian ice cream and coconut. How much the durian? Durian, um, uh, big cup, big cup, uh, 50. Uh -huh, uh, uh, small, small. How much small? Small, 30. 30. Yeah. Durian ice cream, I've got to try it, and I. Corn? Small, small durian. Um, um, can have in this one or oh, cone, cone, cone okay. Rice, uh, peanut, please. Yes, peanut, uh, is okay. So, I'm having jury and ice cream. Gotta try it with peanut. It's gotta be done. If it was anything else, a jury and ice cream, I've gotta try that. Man. Let's just see how she makes it. Durian ice cream. Wow. Okay, top corn cap. So they have it with bread as well, look. They put the ice cream in the bread. I don't mind that. I would have had it like that. But I prefer it in a cone, don't you? Top corn cap. Thank you. Thank you. Durian ice cream with like a rice on the top and some peanuts. That is proper, that is proper durian too. That is proper stinky, smelly durian as well. Good, all right, all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, man. It's nice. See, I don't think you do get that in Chiang Mai, but it's the first time I've come across it in the street. I've probably just walked straight past it in Chiang Mai. Look, there's nobody here, man. Nobody. Right, so now, after this, we're definitely going back to the hotel. I've got to put some fuel in Lucille, go back, dump all this, man, then check out the room. I'm going to shoot the um, hotel vlog, and that'll be the next one. Um, I'm a bit sceptical what that place is going to be like. And it looked good in, uh, in, uh, in the internet, <laughs> but it always does, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, I'm going to shoot the vlog. I think it's going to be a nice place. It's just out the way a bit, right? just want to show you behind me, them mountains, look. So I'm definitely going to finish this now, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one, okay? Hope you enjoyed this first vlog of getting out, the fourth series. Um, it's been a bit all over the place, this vlog, but we're in Payao. We're going to get back on it and a bit more structured vlog in the next one. Once I've dumped all my stuff in, you know, once you get to the hotel, you sort it, didn't you? I still haven't checked in or anything, so yeah, I'm going to stop waffling, enjoy my 
ice cream and I'll see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. <laughs>